Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. So um, we've gone over some numbers before, but this time the numbers are a little bit different. Uh, just as a refresher, just in case anyone was missing it, uh, there can be and only ever will be 21 million Bitcoin. Uh, the issue is, is that over the last five, six, seven years, we've had a larger discussion as to how much Bitcoin there actually is. So you would you would assume and say, well, it's you know, there will only ever be 21 million, is 21 million. Um, and I think at the time of me making this video, there's like 19 million something or other Bitcoin that have also been mined. The number that we got before years ago <clears throat> was apparently that between four to six million, some of you know the number, four to six million Bitcoin are apparently lost and gone forever. That is to say, there's no way of actually retrieving them. And this has been the number for quite some time, um, as far as like, if there's 19 million Bitcoin that have been mined and six million of them are gone, that's 13 million Bitcoin uh, that are left up for grabs and also you can kind of also tie in the situation where for those of you who've been missing the news i'm not sure how you exactly did it uh the etf issuers z, multiple s's are all holding or rather cumulatively a uh, hundreds of thousands of bitcoin right now so if they continue on this same exact trend that they've been doing since the 11th of march it's barely been two months. Uh, they are going to own over one million Bitcoin by the time we get to like September, October, which then also like makes the situation a lot more dire for people who are trying to accumulate Bitcoin and will never actually be able to do so. That's also adding in the numbers from the other times that we've had in the other videos where we just heard recently, I think it was MicroStrategy. They're also trying to buy more Bitcoin and uh, BlackRock themselves are also buying tons of Bitcoin. We've also had like rumors of like other nation states, except for the ones who already are doing it, also buying up tons of Bitcoin. Four to six million was kind of the number that we've had for like a while. Uh, apparently, it's it's not four to six million. It's, it's actually apparently a lot more than that. Um, a couple of companies have come out with their information regarding the lost Bitcoin. And they're now saying that, and I quote this, approximately 7.8 million Bitcoin have been lost and gone forever. That's a that's a mighty big difference from the four to six million. One million lost and gone forever of something of which there's only twenty one million is is a huge deal. Uh, two million lost and gone forever of nineteen million is also a problem. The nineteen million, of course, being significant as it is near the twenty one million. Got it. But the 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 <laughs> the problem is is that we have halvings. So <laughs> we're still not at the halving. Uh, as we get to the next halving, Bitcoin's issuance rate is going to drop down to 450 Bitcoin. And then from there, in 2028, it also gets cut in half again. And then 30, 2032 gets cut in half once more. Logical, right? Well, part of the problem is, is that um, once we get to the 2028 halving, I believe that's the one, uh, it will then officially take us another 112 years to mine the last 1% of Bitcoin. So 99% of Bitcoin will have been mined, I think between the next two halvings. And then we have to wait 112 years because the other additional halvings cut the supply down to literal fragments. If you ever get a chance, look at some of the um, charts. I forgot exactly. I think it's by 20, I want to say 20, 30, Six, something like that, somewhere around there. They have one of the charts and you can see that there's basically only Satoshis, like literal Satoshis being created per day. And this is where we're getting those like, you know, million to $10 million uh, Bitcoin price predictions if the demand remains high and people are still buying and has been integrated into everything that we see around us in the world. Of course, then logically, the price would actually get there. Part of the problem is, if there's not a lot for a lot of people, and the news that we're getting right now is that 7.8 million is a lot. That completely then, in essence, 
is discounting an additional 1.8 million millionaires and billionaires from ever being able to own an entire coin. We've had that conversation before, have we not? Uh, the idea has been for a while that even right now, if every millionaire and billionaire on the planet wanted to have an entire Bitcoin, they mathematically could not. Like it is literally impossible for them to do so. So when you up the ante by another 1.8 million percent, and I mean, can we just be completely honest with the numbers uh, coming from BlackRock and Fidelity right now? Uh, hundreds of thousands of Bitcoin over the course of a seven to eight week period is a little insane. It's, n it's not just me, right? So when we were talking a, lo a lot of the couple other times and I was going over the numbers and I was like, People, not, not that people forget that time moves forward. Got it. Cool. Getting older. But you, do you understand what it means that by the end of summer, two companies could hold over a million Bitcoin? The U.S. government has 200,000 Bitcoin. Uh, was it, what, what, what are they called? MicroStrategy has currently 193,000 Bitcoin. Uh, there also, it is widely believed, uh, if you look at the old articles, that the uh, Winklevoss twins, I think they said in 2013 or 2014, that apparently they also hold, back then, uh, 200,000 Bitcoin. So we can only logically assume that in the last 10 years, uh, they've pro probably purchased at least one more Bitcoin, you know, just just one, not anymore. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons as to why these things may have disappeared. Uh, they have to do with a lot of the metrics that people have to gauge the actual movement within the market. Uh, one of the more popular ones, as we spoke about a couple of weeks ago, has to do with the actual uh, movement of coins. Sounds logical? Because it is. If you, back in 2010, uh, had 30,000 Bitcoin that you bought for four and a half dollars and an acorn at some time by, by, by the time you get to 2017 and you're like, oh, snaps, I'm a millionaire. Logically, you would move those coins off of that old computer. You'd move it to Coinbase. You'd cash some of it out. Who knows what the person would do? But what you probably would not do is leave it on your 2007 computer. And then in 2010, when you got Bitcoin put on it, you simply go... It's fine. It's totally, I'm pretty sure the computer will definitely turn back on the next time I try and turn it on, even though it's like 17 years old. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, the, I mean, the, 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 the names of the companies who also figured this out, kind of the, the same ones we've been going through before. Where are they? Right here. It's um, the company is Into the Block and Glassnode. Um, as always, the article will be in the description below for those of you who wish to peruse and read through it as well. Uh, this is also, last point, uh, this is why I assume we see now that these companies are getting into the cryptocurrency space. I thought their timing was a little bit peculiar, especially hearing that a lot of these companies have actually been in this space since around 2014. But I thought it quite interesting, not only the level of accumulation, the timing that they got into the market after the entire collapse of, of FTX and all these other things that have been going on, but just also the the actual numbers. If we, I'll say it this way, if we, the public, me, you, have just gotten wind that the number is now 7.8 million Bitcoin, I assume that these other trillion dollar companies probably paid people a lot of other money to like go through the chain and really figure out a year ago, two years ago, that it was 7.8 million coins lost and gone forever. So they know mathematically how much they need to hold to have like a large portion of the Bitcoin market within their hands. Um, of course, I mean, nothing is really haphazard when you talk about hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars, but very fascinating to see all of this happening right now, especially with all the insane price predictions that we've been uh, getting as of late. Um, yeah. So that's the news. There's even less Bitcoin going around than we thought before. Uh, congratulations to everyone who listened to my ranting and raving over the course of the last two years when I was like, hey, Bitcoin seems pretty cheap when we keep getting news that all these rich people are buying all the Bitcoin every single day. So now you, now you see what I'm talking about, especially with people assuming that Bitcoin is still going to do a four to five X 
literally, over the course of the next like year and a half. Radio. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having... Why is the microphone so close to my face? I hope you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Wherever you might be, I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.